I got some good news, I got some bad news, and I got some Canadian news. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm... Good news. Voodoo? They didn't kill him. Those tyrannical, obese, satanic, they could be possibly homophobic. We don't know which way fucking voodoo swings. There's nothing wrong with that. Those fucking rednecks, they thought they killed him. We, we found out you know, we, we found his fucking GoPro and his fucking ACH Army Combat Helmet. And the last thing we saw was some rednecks down on him. But he's out there. He's alive. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? He sent us a code. What did he say? <laughs> he said that he's in the northeast of Texas. <laughs> What's that mean? What does that mean? Is he in the northeast of Texas? Where's the northeast of Texas? Well, let's let's see. There's North Carolina. There's Tennessee. There's South Carolina. There's Kentucky. There's Georgia. 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 What the fuck is Georgia? Why don't you Google it and see? Okay? George is a fucking bad place to be. Full of fucking rednecks. And Rooster and his rednecks, they're in fucking Alabama. Alabama's like probably right there. Florida is right there. You know, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. But what I'm saying, Voodoo's surrounded by fucking Rooster and all his rednecks. In fucking Georgia. Does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Why would you even ask me what the fuck does that mean? You think fucking NATO, you think fucking Pink Unicorn is going to be able to get over there and save his own men? No, Pink Unicorn got blown the fuck up. And I can say it in every video. You need to fucking redeem yourself. I'm not trying to talk shit to you. Eric got blown the fuck up. Redeem yourself. But while he's fucking laying out, he's probably got on profile now because he got blown the fuck up. I'll fucking go to Georgia. I'll go to Georgia and I'll say fucking voodoo. Am I going to be able to get Voodoo's fucking helmet and ACH and fucking GoPro back? Probably not, because I'm the one that sold that shit. <laughs> but, Voodoo, I'll do you. <laughs> Voodoo, I'll do you. Kind of like, let's do it for Derek, but Voodoo, I'll do you. He's a uh, unstable. Bill told me that's why he kicked Ramos out of the militia after a year. For the record, I quit the militia because he does not have a stable mind for leadership. And almost everybody else, they don't want the media in on it. And so it kind of divides the camp right there. That's another reason for people to divide. It's uh, we don't talk to media. Because we know that they're going to hack us and make us look like, uh, you know, dumbasses. <laughs> okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, muscles out. Okay, guys, so, uh, so, so, yeah, we're gonna have to move out, you know what I'm saying? I'm up here in Canada, but I I'm gonna have to move down there to, uh, to Georgia and kind of, you know, move around and see if I can... Bottom line, I thought fucking Voodoo was fucking dead, so I'm gonna raid his fucking shit, you know what I'm saying? I took his ACH, his Army Combat Helmet, his fucking GoPro shit. I sold that shit, and then I posted, that, you know, so, shit, you know? He's my fucking, they're my allies. 
You know, NATO's my allies. I can't fucking let them do like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at that fucking go down here. And I'm just in and out. You know, I'm going to go down to fucking Georgia. I'm going to find some fucking rednecks that look like militia and got some cool shit. I'll fucking kill them. I'm going to raid that motherfucker, take his shit, and be back up. You know, I I can't even roll with my normal fucking Kanada and foreign leader. For one, they're fucking crazy. Giving these motherfuckers guns and saying go out in the fucking woods and kill anything you see. Tur turn they're fucking crazy as fuck. Now they're fucking talking about... I was like, no more fucking turkeys. No more killing fucking turkeys. Motherfucker, Carl told me turkey season's over. Now it's duck season. So I, I, I can't fucking roll with those guys, you know? So I, I had to hit a company up. I was like, look, I need some redneck camping shit or redneck camouflage shit, but it needs to have tactical... You know, I need tactical shit. I need the cargo pockets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's see, you know, so thank you. Who, who sent it to me? Natural Gear, you know? So so let's see what Natural Gear sent. Yeah. Ah, ah. First thing they sent was a catalog. So thanks thanks for sponsoring to me. <laughs> and then, you know, you gave yourself a plug. So yeah, I'm gonna plug you. Don't worry about that. Uh, ah. So they did. They sent me a cool, this is, you know, this looks like a tree, but it's made out of fucking ripstock and shit. So let's see, you know, the hat's fucking cool and stuff. And then they sent me, um, like, okay. Okay, ripstock, ripstock rip material, fucking cargo pot, like army pants, and they look like fucking camo and shit, ah, ah, fuck it, I tell you what, I was starting to get worried with these sponsors, you know what I'm saying, they're sending me fucking green, green hats when I'm fucking redneck, you know, you fucking guys, natural gear, you fucking took care of me. And look, look at this. It's got that fucking thing in the side so you just tuck your shirt in and not have to worry about it coming out. So they sent me a fucking hat and pants. I really wish you would send me a shirt. I would have went all out, but what? You smart son of a bitches. Because I'm going to fucking Georgia and people in Georgia walk around with no shoes and shirt. Here, I thought you guys were some cheap-ass fucking sponsors and not giving me everything I really needed, you know, but you're fucking, you're almost as smart as me. <laughs> Let's go, motherfucking smart shit. Damn, you guys are smart. You're going far with your fucking business. I can tell that. Big tornado in a little freaking teacup and they they no doubt they sensationalized um what they saw so it's kind of weird you know i mean i'm nothing really i mean i'm just i'm, I'm just chris hill up in up in the freaking attic you know doing my shit on the computer and fucking uh running around on the weekends doing target practice but I guess some people are interested. It's resonating with some people. Somebody out there is going to watch this video and it's going to resonate with them. Like, I know where that dude's coming from. I'm a three percenter. You know, I go out and I, I prepare for worst case scenario. Yeah, you know, it's going. It's out there, no doubt. So, yeah, I gotta fucking roll the fuck. Yeah, I ain't got no shirt on, man. Who would have thought? You know, fucking being tactical like a motherfucker. I'm wearing these fucking natural motherfucking, you know, shuffling, airborne shuffling, motherfucker. But I'm wearing these fucking, my fucking natural camo gear and no shirt and a hat. I'm blending in like a motherfucker. I'm blending in really hard. I gotta come over here now. The fucking car's coming. Oh. They didn't even see me. <laughs> they didn't. But what you're seeing, you're seeing this. And you're like, oh, I thought you were so. I thought you were fucking gray man's dick. Right? Obviously, you didn't see where I lost that motherfucker in Africa. But here's the thing. I don't have it. I lost it. I still have gray man here and here, just like you. You might have lost a lot of your fucking combat buddies. Maybe you just lost contact with them after you got back to America. But you still have them here and here. But you know what? Maybe one day, 
Maybe just one day I'll meet a guy cool enough, my gray man, to make me want to wear his dick around my neck. <laughs> Let's go. Take a good look at the face of the militia and the 3% movement. These are patriots that are not going to have their rights infringed upon and our way of life uh, will be preserved and maintained. So help us God. Guns up! So uh, we're going to skirt this wood line through this field and as cars come up, we're going to fucking drop down and I can hear fucking rednecks right on the other side chirping and, and squealing and, and hollering and stuff. So just, just chill for a minute. educated southern redneck types and, you know it's, it's quite offensive really i mean we're talking about a group of people who come from all walks of life they're professionals they're teachers businessmen they're uh, engineers electricians an argument um, that they don't like you're just a racist and uh, it's a uh, freaking nonsensical all right so i made it i made that movement through the and, and cars are going by i was confused too because i thought this was after apocalypse cars going by so sometimes like i had to act like you know just in real life cars like what's this sneaky ass motherfucker doing with a gun and no shirt on so i just act like i was picking something up or looking for glasses and sometimes like like we're moving we're not moving tactically what if you're in a third world country and you're really looking for something and and people are seeing you and you don't want them to know you're looking for something so you're just like oh I'm, I'm, my glasses you know hey, i want to take a picture of this house i don't want people to know i'm taking a picture of this house oh look at that cool bird stuff like that so think about it you know i'm a fucking master of disguise so yeah right on this other side i can hear a oh shit I got fucking pink unicorns. Fuck, I rate everyone when they get here. Pink unicorn got still shoot. Pink unicorn got blown the fuck up. My turn. <laughs> got him. One shot. Well, actually, two shots. 
one can. And it's pretty good because, I mean, this is an awesome gun. I could fucking pistol whip someone to fuck. Hit them up. Pink unicorn. But you better make sure you get all your shots. I'm out of bullets now. The only reason I have fucking one shot is because this side's easy as fuck to load. But this side, you got to get like a knife or something. Like, did you do this pink unicorn to make me shoot better? I always got my motherfucking... I, I almost feel guilty that you got blown the fuck up. I feel like I fucking failed you, Pinky. I mean... Did you fuck the fuck up? Or did I fuck you up? Or did I fucking... Fa I fucking failed you, Pinky in the corner. But Voodoo, I'm not gonna fail you. Let's go see what we can raid from this dead fucking redneck and, uh... Give it to Voodoo. Fuck, this is corny. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> you can't wake up because I killed you, fat boy. <laughs> you fat redneck piece of shit. All right. Get them a rating. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? This is something I haven't seen in a very long. Look at that fucking cherry. Look at that cherry wood finish. This is a fucking redneck hunting rifle. For people that don't know, this is not a fucking AK uh, 47. This is not a fucking M4. This is this is a fucking. This is probably a Mossberg. Okay, so uh, oh, still had it on fire. <laughs> That's how you put it on safe at the top, move it all the way down, and that's how you fire it. And it's a shoot, bolt action deer hunting rifle. See? Whoa! Oh, I got some power, I got some kick in that one. If you move it up to the second, I don't know. Whoa! Strong motherfucking hunting rifle right there. <laughs> I shot this motherfucker up accidentally. He's a faker. He's a po look at him. He's wearing fucking digital fucking marine shit. What? Ooh. Ooh. I uh. Ooh. I think I was killing some rednecks, and it turns out I must have been killing a uh, general of the Marine Corps. Fuck, I did not mean to do that. Is that his camp? Let's roll this fat dead bastard back to his bed. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we went into quick cooking mode. Is General up yet or moving? I haven't seen him yet this morning, so. Alright, so I laid him in his car. Let me take his shoes off. He's wearing fucking moccasins. Also, he fucking he knows what he's doing. I'm gonna lay his arms up on him so no one. Oh shit, people got. Oh fuck, there are people in this. And start some breakfast. Go help yourself. You're welcome. Eggs and bacon over there, sir. Eggs and bacon over there, sir, ready, so. I'm waiting on everybody to get up and get rolling out of bed, which most everybody is already. Some of us have had breakfast and we're preparing for the day. We'll start the training just shortly. As soon as a blood agent gets out of the rack, we'll go from there. Yes. Where's Chris at this morning? Fuck. Fuck. What well, fuck? You fuck too for watching, you fucking fuck. Fuck you, voodoo, fucking making me do this shit. What the fuck, man? I fucking killed a fucking gen- I killed a fucking general of the United States Marine Corps. What the fuck? 
It's only gonna be a matter of time before they realize that he's fucking dead and not just sleeping in late. Now another person's wondering where he was. Every what the fuck. I don't want nobody taking my gun rights away from me. I don't want nobody taking my freedom of speech from me. You know, so I'll die for that. Hell yeah. Well, they know. They know he's fucking dead now. Fuck. Talking about getting a search party. They even got that fat black dude on. What the fuck? So, uh, my name is Phil King, uh, Corporal Cowboy. Uh, GSF knows me by. Um, I found security force a while back. Um, unfortunately, it was because of a loss of a very good friend of mine. I mean, it was Chris that I met first. Um, yeah. Like I said, unfortunately, I met them at a funeral. Pulled them aside and, you know, hey, talk to them about it. And, uh, come out to my first FTX. Everything's been great since then. Uh, you know, come out here, train, great group of guys. And, you know, they treat me like family. I treat them like family. If I need something, let somebody know. They're going to help me out to the best of their abilities. If they need something, I'll let them know. I'll help them out to the best of my abilities. While I was in high school, as a junior, I joined the uh, Police Explorers program and went on to be a sheriff officer, a uh, detention officer. You know, um, I don't have a military background, but I have a police background. So, you know, being able to train with them gives me that aspect, military aspect. I mean, yeah, I can fucking beat feet and get the fuck out of here now. But I mean, like, they're just gonna come after me. And if you learn nothing, like, yeah, I killed a fucking, I killed a fucking general, four-star general of the fucking Marine Corps, probably. Yeah. Forget that. If you learn anything, don't run away from your fucking problem. These guys are gonna fucking keep coming after me. I'm gonna have to kill all these motherfuckers now. And you, hey, look, don't fucking kill your problems one at a time. Kill the, all these motherfuckers. Been lauding these motherfuckers. So I mean, I can't do anything with the gun now. I didn't fucking pack enough fucking ammo, and I was fucking too scared. I should have saved that fucking hunting rifle, that automatic hunting rifle to look like an AK, but I, I didn't do that. But here's the thing about these fucking pants. Natural gear, you know, they're fucking, they got cargo pockets. You know, how many hunting pants, redneck pants have cargo pockets, okay? And what do I keep in my cargo pockets? That cord. So I got one, two things at that cord. I got an electric fuse starter that can start it. I got a fucking, what do I got right here? Oh shit. I got a fucking extender to the fuse. I got extender on that side. You have a screws and I got an extender to the fuse, an adapter, and all I gotta do is get a fucking electrical source. And it doesn't even have to be plugged. Like I can get a TV, a microwave, a computer, anything that can make a spark. And I can blow these motherfuckers up. And guess what? I'm in fucking country ass Georgia. Where am I gonna find a fucking abandoned TV or a microwave or side of the motherfucking road? Get that shit too. And let that be another lesson. Don't leave your shit like that, motherfuckers. I did that on purpose so you can see that shit. That's bullshit. Excuse my language. That's BS. <laughs> you know, we're staying for. For the Constitution, a lot of people are trying to take basically our constitutional rights away from us. They want to take our Second Amendment away from us. I mean, we stand for that. That's that's what this whole thing's really about. You know, we we use our Second Amendment. You know, to protect our First Amendment. And uh, I mean, where uh, do I know anything about Georgia? No, I just know it's a fucking very uh, redneck uh, uh, infested area. And I've worked with enough of indigenous people. We call them Canadian Foreign Legion, but they're rednecks. They're rednecks that we use. That I know that everywhere that rednecks are is a fucking dirt road with fucking drop-off trash and shit. I mean, we got one. Everyone has one. We don't have one up in Canada. We ain't got rednecks in Canada. We live in harmony with the Native Americans up there, you know? Ah! Who are rednecks? Rednecks are fucking Neanderthals. Just to let you... I mean, like... American history, just, I know you guys are Canadian like me, but in America, the fucking Boston Tea Party, that they said, like, Native Americans threw fucking tea, British tea in the water and started the fucking revolution. It was fucking rednecks dressed like fucking Indians. Look it up. I, like, I'm not trying to be mad. I'm not. And I'm not trying to be, like, like racist that I don't like rednecks. You know, but it's just like, 
I'm a Canadian. You know, what the fuck do I care? But I used to be an American. You know, a lot of my family members are American. They're fucking rednecks. And uh, I hope my fucking daughters don't marry any rednecks. I fucking... But, but they've been meddling with the southeastern um, United States history and culture for a very fucking long time. Like, very fucking long time. Like, I'm just recently, just recently, and I fucking fell for it for a little while. Mossy Oak, fucking, Mossy Oak, fucking, Oakland, Oak Leaf Bottom or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not Tiger Stripe. It's redneck fucking camo. It's not the, like, look how fucking tactical, like, like, you don't think this shit, fuck, we'll find some fucking shit. I'm about to show you how this shit blends in in fucking Georgia weather, okay? So obviously we're gonna need a two-man search team. So let me get uh, two volunteers real quick. Got one, blackout two. All right, I need at least uh, one tango. Give me two tangos. Ooh. Come on, cause it's got gray, it's got gray, black, and then it looks like fucking shit, like fucking streak marks, like you fucking, like you know, you've been wearing the same pair of underwear for a couple of days. You know, everybody's had that before. Come on, come on, come on. If I, if a hurricane hits tomorrow, we're gonna be there. So it's not just about, you know, standing up and, and acting big and bad or nothing like that. Like I said, we're some Yeah, by the, way, by the way, I found a fucking old microwave over there. That'll, that'll work perfect. That'll work perfect. We're going to hook the microwave up. We're going to blow up all these fucking Marines and jump bada bing, bada bing. Be out of here. We're not going to take the credit for it. We're not going <coughs> to... You think we're going to take the credit for it? Fuck no, we're not going to take the credit for it. Do you want to take the credit for it? No, we're just... You know, whatever. And if, we're, if, if fucking Voodoo wants to run his mouth, you know, you don't run your fucking mouth, Voodoo. You know, I came over here. I killed some fucking rednecks in fucking Georgia for you. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And it's just like, you know, like Christ used to say in the Bible. You know, saying like the Sadducees and the Pharisees or whatever. You know, be like, oh, 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 I'm fasting because I love God out in public and, you know, get a bunch of attention. Or, oh, I gave $400 to the fucking charity to get a bunch of attention. But who are you really giving charity to? So you can take a picture. I'm doing this shit and I'm not fucking, I don't care the credit. Just knowing the fucking voodoo is out here and redneck, rednecks surrounded and he's fucking scared. Am I going to be able to find voodoo? No, it's too fucking hot now. But I'll kill a couple of rednecks before I leave. I don't need the credit for that shit. Let me sound your major. <laughs> illegal anyways. Uh, you know, rebel, you know, flag and whatnot. But the rebel flag is just a flag. It's a piece of cloth. It was an American flag. It wasn't the best of times, but it was an American flag. It's our heritage. It is, does not mean anything. It's a piece of cloth. So got it. I'm just gonna chill here for a little. I found this. Um, looks like you know it's hot as fuck. You can tell it's been like fermenting because you can't even like like bend the plastic and shit. You know, we're talking about Jesus. You know, today in this video, Jesus. What was the first miracle recorded miracle Jesus did in the Holy Bible? Turn water into wine. If Jesus could turn water into wine during a wedding. What do you think, uh, three or four years of just being in a fucking sealed up fucking plastic bottle after the apocalypse turns into? Mm. Oh. That's fermented wine, all right. Thug life over here. I'm just sitting over here drinking my fermented 40 ounce of fucking wine. <laughs> I'm, I'm a thug. 
You know what I'm saying? And they're rednecks. You tell the rednecks they're eating fucking dinner. And guess what they're eating? Scrambled eggs and bacon. Who the fuck eats that for dinner? Rednecks. So here's what I'm going to do. While they're distracted, eating their fucking swine, rednecks, I'm going to fucking assemble that bomb, that makeshift bomb, and I'm going to attach it to the back of their targets. Because they, what do rednecks do out when they're camping? They fucking eat and they shoot. Eat and shoot, eat and shoot. So they're eating now, they're going to shoot. And I'll have my fucking bomb attached to the back. And all I need is one of them bullets to hit and go psh, and make a spark. Bada beam, bada boom. We're going to have a pig picking tonight. This <laughs> purely mo motivation. Motor, motor, got a lot of motivation. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. Here's that fucking, I mean, there ain't nothing special. It's just the old fucking dirty fucking, oh, really dirty fucking microwave that I found on the side of the road, okay? And all my deck cords and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put it all together. And before I do that, we always talk about, you know, what's your, what's your primary agenda, what's your, what's your alternate agenda, and what's your hindered agenda in this mission. What was my primary agenda? I wanted to come down here to the, to the northeast of Texas, Georgia. And fucking try to rescue fucking voodoo. What was my hidden agenda? I wanted a marade. I want a marade. I always want a marade, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Alternate agenda. I mean, I want a marade, motherfuckers. A hidden agenda. I wanted a marade, motherfuckers. My alternate agenda. I want to tell people that even though fucking voodoo is captured and missing in action somewhere around here, and even though fucking Commander Paladine is all shacked up because he got blown the fuck, I failed him. He didn't fuck up. And if I hear you say he fucked up one more time, I'll fuck you up. He didn't fuck, I failed him. How did I, I don't know how I failed him. I failed him though. He got blown the fuck up. And kid, kid, you little fucking bomb making motherfucker from Milsim, when I find you, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to. Warning, this is a secure area. Go back to where you came from. All right, but seriously, I, I don't have a lot of time to get into that right now. I mean, just use your imagination. You know what I'm saying? One deck cord right here. Two deck cords, all right? So what I'm going to do, I, am I a sapper? Am I a sapper? <laughs> My fuck, I went to Master Breacher School. You don't even know what that is. Find out. So I'm going to take one deck cord, and I'm going to just fucking wrap that motherfucker up. Tight as fuck, like a ball of fucking, ball of explosion. Okay? I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to take, am I MacGyver? No, not MacGyver. So I made you green, motherfucker. Am I deadly? Am I deadly with a bomb? Why don't you ask yourself that at the end of this video? <laughs> take a little bit of tape, and I'm going to tape this up. So now I got a ball of, you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to come entwined. And then I'm going to take that other deck cord, and I'm going to go around that twine, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie it. And people are like, what kind of knot you tie? What kind of knot you tie? What kind of, what, did you learn knots in ranger school? Because you either know knots, or you tie a lot. If you don't know how to tie a knot, you're gonna tie a lot. I know how to tie a knot. Yeah, got it right there. So, you know, I got that. Now, what am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do? I got a fucking big ball of fucking deck cord and a fucking string of deck. What am I gonna do with that? That's what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I got my fucking ball of deck cord in there. I got my string of deck cord coming out. And I'm gonna put it here so I don't fucking lose that. Alright? I mean, you got Look. The last thing you want is to make a bomb and the bomb come and done. You know what I'm saying? Before you blow something up. So, you always gotta... You know, yeah, we always think about that. You know, you gotta think of fucking plan A, plan B, and contingencies. You gotta be stoic. You know? So, I, I don't want this to fall apart. I got a lot of fucking duct tape. Why did I get a lot of duct tape? Indigenous. You know, I don't want to be suspicious when I go to Walmart. I don't want to be like, oh, this motherfucker buying bombs and shit. No, I'm buying fucking duct tape. You know, cheap ass duct tape too, apparently. Okay, now I take that. I got my fucking fuse. This is my deck fuse that starts the deck cord. So I uh, stab that in. Oh, gosh. And again, I can't just assume that it's going to stay like that. And I hope you're not assuming that shit like that's going to stay. You always got to fucking reinforce stuff. I mean, don't we use zip ties? 
when we build shit and fucking 550 cord and dummy cord and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to dummy cord your bombs too. You know what I'm saying? Got to dummy cord your bombs. Okay? So I'm dummy cording, taping my fucking shit together right there. But uh, now I got this. All I got to do is run this auto out and stab it into the back of the metal fucking um, or of the wooden fucking target that is shooting. When they shoot and one of those bullets hits a fucking spark or now causes a spark, da -da 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 -da, boom. It's not only going to be a fucking bomb now. A fucking microwave weight or active mom. Come on now. <laughs> okay, so I just have to move from the wood line over to the fucking targets. But look. I got a fucking bulldog. Rednecks always have fucking bulldogs in the backyard. I gotta fucking see if this camo gonna blend in with the fucking bulldog. I can't. Made it. They're not even fucking barking. Made it. Fucking camo. This. You need to get yourself some fucking natural gear. You need to get yourself some natural gear. Natural gear? Now sending me the shirt was the best thing you guys ever fucking did. Oh shit, they're already shooting. They're already shooting. In that target. Behind the target right now. The winning target. Here we go. I'm back now. Yeah, I mean, I do gotta wear a shirt every now and then. You know, I can't just walk around with no shirt all the time. So lucky for uh, lucky for me, I did get some rotting. You know, I took that fucking general shirt. So you know, I got a fucking. It might not match these fucking. Take my hand off. What? What am I doing? <laughs> They must have sent me a shirt the whole time. I fucking must have left it here, not fucking. <laughs> if you learn nothing else, if you learn nothing else from this video, what are we gonna, you know, collection of army lessons learned? What are we gonna take away from this? I always do a fucking layout. You know, always lay your shit out, make sure you got everything packed. Because, I mean, lucky for me, I'm a fucking camo expert, you know, but I mean, what if somebody else forgot their shirt and couldn't fucking do this? You know what I'm saying? So, thank you, fucking natural gear camo your your shit is awesome it's fucking lightweight it's rip stop but it's not the cheap stuff it's got fucking pockets you got ice and brody nice cam i don't know why you did skid marks but they work and shit the fucking shirt is, I, I don't know if the shirt's gonna work i i can't you know i can't vouch for it yeah i mean you took care of me you sent me a hat the hat works you sent me the pants the pants i'm not i can't i can't do enough i got enough time to do a video again and i'm not gonna lie you want me to lie you want to fine, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna lie. The shirt's great. The shirt fucking works. You want me to lie? Fuck this show. There's a place called Kokomo That's where